uh, we're officially checked out of Adara. It's interesting. Well, we're here in Vegas in the hotel. It's from good weather. I mean, it's cold, but sunny out. Go back to camping. It's all windy today. It's raining. So, make it that what you will. But head back to the campsite. My overall thoughts on Madara was really nice. It's apartment style, so I like it better than Aria. Yes, I did actually. Uh, it's not that far of a walk from Aria. It's good direct access to Bellagio. So, customer service is better, beds are better, towels are better. Um, little details like that, and I have more space. So, I had 810 square feet compared to 400. 50 square feet in Aria, actually 400 square feet, so uh, twice the size and uh, a lot more space. It was nice, uh, I liked it. Alright guys, we are back at the campground. We have a different campsite this time. As you can see above me, we have this nice little cover, which is great. Um, the winds calm down right now, but we're dealing with like 15, 20 mile an hour gusts. So hopefully we get the camp or the tent set up and have no issue there. Uh, I'll give you a little tour right now. So we do have these nice benches this time. Uh, fire will go there. We do have a grill here in concrete, which is nice. And then our campsite last week was actually down that way. So we actually had the same kind of view set up. But yeah, we'll, we'll get this going and get this tent set up with hopefully not too much issue. Just to give you guys an idea, you can kind of see the, the campsite just a couple down. The tent's already kind of blown over. See that right there? It's blown over, but the last takes, I gotta watch it so it doesn't blow away. If it does, I gotta track it down for him, but um, yeah. About to get just set up here. I just found some more rocks to stack on top of my stakes because of the deal with this 20 mile an hour wind. If it does carry on a little bit later than expected. faces into the bushes and then the campsite or the, the uh, campfire and the grill are actually uh, back here I said man maybe I should have the front of the tent facing this way so that's why I switched it and then I caught some huge wind that's why you saw it just kind of blow in there for a second but anyways we are all set up I think it looks pretty good we still gonna make some little modifications to it in terms of making sure it's really really sturdy uh, just in case these winds don't calm down You can see it looks pretty good. Notice how I put these poles further out. So I received a few DMs in regards to essential things to bring camping, especially if it's your first time. Uh, outside the obvious stuff like a tent, um, sleeping bag, uh, some things that might go overlooked is uh, like some kind of sleeping mat to put underneath your sleeping bag. Uh, or if you want to bring an air mattress or something like that, but something to help insulate yourself uh, inside the tent. Uh, on top of that, lotion is a huge thing that I think is overlooked. It can get really dry, so hand, face, body lotion, a chapstick, uh, anything to help yourself from drying out. Uh, water, uh, definitely bring water. I mean, always check to see what your campsite uh, has in terms of amenities, but water is, is a must. Um, and then also light lanterns. Uh, out here in the wilderness, when it gets dark, it's dark, and you have no supply of light unless you have your own. So outside the fire and all that kind of stuff, make sure you have light. Obviously, if you're doing more primitive camping, you're gonna want pocket knife and all these other things, but I'm talking about just a, a campsite. Um, those type of things are, are really, really important. Um, so yeah, and also back to the light real quickly inside your tent. And if you want to read or whatever, watch a movie or whatever the case is, 
it's really important to have light. And, uh, light is huge. Uh, yeah, I, oh, trash bags as well. Uh, it depends on your site. Like this site has a dumpster that campgrounds is driving out, but I like to collect everything and put it into a trash bag to help keep it organized so it's not just out, it's just sitting out. I mean, I think that's really kind of sloppy. So trash bags are also really important. So pot and or pan to cook with on top of the fire. Uh, plasticware, forks, knives, spoons to eat with that are disposable. Uh, you can put them right in the trash bag after you're done with each meal. Uh, there's a company brand called, I think it's called Camp Suts, but any kind of environmental friendly soap to wash out your stuff with if you're going to be there for a few days. Here where I am, it's really cold, but if you're going to a hotter spot, you want to bring coolers for your water or your food that you're going out with. Luckily, there's a grocery store like 10 minutes away, five minutes away, so I can get my food for each night. But if you're going to a place that doesn't have a grocery store and need to bring food for a few nights or however long your stay is, bring coolers to keep the food in there. Uh, and then also firewood. Bring plenty of firewood uh, if your campsite doesn't have it and all the campsites supply it. Keep those things in mind and I can put more stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll do a post on it so I'll have a list for you guys. There's a wind check. So that was the one coming in. That one's passing. You can see this is coming in but I think we're gonna be fine. You can kind of see the system coming in over that mountain. Uh, but I do like seeing the kind of clear skies this way and the speed at which this thing's rolling in. Um, I think we should be all right. I think we should be all right, especially by maybe like 10 o'clock tonight. It should be uh, passed, hopefully. They've tucked it to the picnic table. Look. The guys just got back from the store and tent is standing. Best feeling ever. And the winds have seemed to calm down. They're probably rolling at like 10 miles an hour right now. So not the 20 that we were dealing with earlier. And I think for the rest of the night they should only be getting calmer. 10 down to kind of between 5 and 8, so should be good. We have some neighbors pulling right now. I have trouble backing in their fifth wheel, so I'm gonna go help them. I'll be right back to looking on this fire. Which is. There it is. It's trying to catch. It will. It's a little windy. <laughs> Much better. Oh! Tell them to turn it the other way. We're close, we're close. <laughs> Put down my lanterns there for guidance. Perfect. Perfect. Tell them to start turning the other way. the first time. No other No other So they got the fifth wheel and it's their first time driving it. They're from Seattle. Guy's name is Gur. Girl's name is Yumi. Very nice, very sweet. Not much English, but um, but yeah, they're they're on a little month track. But yeah, really nice people. That's what I like about camping is we get some really cool, diverse individuals uh, out here, and uh, all walks of life, which is great. All right, we're all bundled up in our sleeping bag in the tent. Uh, it's really nice. The winds are like obsolete almost it's like maybe three or four mile an hour winds um dinner was good we just did chicken uh, some peppers and uh pretty simple and uh yeah we're, we're it's, i'd say it's about eight forty-five, nine o'clock we're just gonna go to bed i'm gonna read a little bit then get some rest and i will see you all manana
Yeah.